There's a plethora of evil supermen in the comic book medium these days. A lot of writers have taken the Superman archetype and broken it down in order to see what would happen. Heck, even the Man of Steel himself isn't protected from this since the Injustice franchise exists. The appeal is usually to see what Superman would be like as a villain, and while the results have been mixed, Homelander is definitely viewed as one of the most successful versions. It's natural that a lot of people would want to compare these two characters and see who would come out on top in a battle. While they are very similar in superficial traits and abilities, they are vastly different in terms of morals and point of view, which would also make for a fascinating ideological battle. In this video, we will be comparing Superman and Homelander's history, powers and abilities, all with the goal of determining who would come out on top if these two superpowered beings met on the battlefield. Superman was created in 1938 and first introduced in Action Comics No. 1 by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster. He is often heralded as the first major superhero in the medium of comics and the catalyst for the Golden Age, which was the industry's prime back in the 1940s. The character has gone through iterations and alternate takes in the DC Universe, but the main chronology of Superman has remained the same even if his powers sometimes are improved or decreased. He is the last son of Krypton and grew up in Kansas in the United States, raised by Jonathan and Martha Kent. As he grew older, he decided to use his powers for the greater good and become the Superman everyone knows. Homelander was created by legendary writer Garth Ennis for his indie series, The Boys, in the mid-2000s. The Boys is a violent satire of superheroes and what they represent, with very clear references to some of the most iconic characters in the industry. Homelander is a mix of Superman and Captain America, often appearing virtuous and kind in public, but being a very cruel and devious individual when no one is watching. Amazon Prime Video did a TV adaptation of the series, which has become extensively popular and with Anthony Starr's portrayal of the character being extremely praised. While he was already quite insane in the comics, the show added an element of mental instability and deep insecurity that made him an even more interesting character in the story. Next, we'll talk about how these two stack up in terms of their powers and abilities. So there are different interpretations of the character of Superman due to DC constantly rebooting his continuity, but this is going to be the post-crisis on Infinite Earth Superman since he is the version most people are aware of. He can fly. He can run very fast, he has super strength, he can shoot lasers, he has a lot of endurance, he can freeze things with his breath, he has heat vision and x-ray vision. On the other hand, Homelander has the following abilities, poison and toxin immunity, heat vision, nine vulnerability, the ability to fly, super strength, super speed, supersonic scream, and durability. Now let's talk about what would happen when these two meet on the battlefield. In this case, the setup will probably be Superman finding out that Homelander has been evil for a long time and trying to put an end to it. And considering Homelander's nature, he will have no problem in making it as chaotic and destructive as possible so other people can die in the process. This will in turn hurt Superman's conscience and his public image. Now this is going to be a hard pill to take for a lot of Homelander fans out there, but here's the thing. There is very little that he can do against Superman in a battle. One big reason Homelander is so superior in the boys universe is because no one else has the degree abilities that he has, so he simply has an edge over everyone else. However, when compared to the Man of Steel, he simply can't compete. Superman has all the abilities that Homelander has and is much superior to the latter, which is why in every scenario he would win. He is faster, stronger, much better trained, usually with a lot more experience and with more knowledge of his abilities. It's also worth pointing out that Homelander is poorly trained. Now, this isn't touched on so much in the TV series, but in the comics, he has proven to be fairly incapable of saving people, even if he wanted to. The infamous plane scene is a very good example of that, with the character simply bailing when the going got tough. Superman is the direct opposite, usually exceeding expectations when things are at their darkest. Superman is also fairly intelligent and a capable strategist, even if that side is not always shown in his stories because of his raw strength. And Homelander, on the other hand, has proven to be someone who can have a breakdown in moments of high stakes. This is very important because he's not going to be able to come up with a strategy when he's cornered by the Man of Tomorrow in battle. Superman wins this because he is better than Homelander in every possible metric, which is quite ironic considering the latter's character arc in his own series. There isn't a very logical scenario where Homelander would have the upper hand, and it would be up to Superman to decide how he wants to end this battle. And this is something that many of you agreed on as well, with an overwhelming majority of you voting for Superman in this poll on our channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Who do you think would win in a battle between Homelander and Superman? Let us know by leaving a comment below this video. 
while you're down there, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you'd like to see more video content from us, check out one of the two videos on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.